In today's video, learn an awesome technique for adding a colour of blur grain effect to your designs in Adobe Illustrator, and that's even with complex gradients. Before we apply any gradients, I need to show you the process on a fixed shape first. So the first part of this tutorial is going to be applying the colour blur grain effect to text, which will end up looking really really neat. I have here my design, and in case you're wondering, the font of choice today is Red Wing, as you can see here. So if you have any strokes, they should be outlined, and also I'm going to outline my text as well. Now you can technically apply this technique to text directly without outlining it, but I'm just going to outline mine today. So once everything is outlined, I want to make sure that my entire design is one single object, and so coming into the Pathfinder window and using the Unite function is going to achieve just that. So it always helps to label and to arrange your layers. And I'm going to call this layer base because it's going to be the bottom most layer for the color blur grain effect. Some other windows you will need to open for both parts of today's tutorial are the transparency window and also the gradient window. We're going to make great use of both of these. So next, press L for the ellipse tool and then draw an oval that covers your entire design. We're going to apply a linear gradient to this oval that is black to white. Now by default, your white node is probably going to be set to 100% opacity. However, we want to set it to 0% for the grain effects to work efficiently. So with Illustrator CC, we can simply press G on our keyboard, that's G for gradient, and then that's going to open this slider as seen here. Once you have a gradient that looks similar to mine, and don't worry we can change it later, it's now time to have some fun with that grain effect found in the effects menu. Make sure you have the stippled option selected just below the two sliders. And the key here is to get a nice range from the light to the dark side, and you don't want to have the dark side with a solid black coating. You want to make sure that grain effect reaches right up to the edge. So pretty much something like this will do just fine. Again, I'm going to be Mr. Organized and I'm going to label this layer in the layers window. So keeping in the layers window, we can now click the base layer on the right so a blue icon appears and this indicates we actually do have this layer selected. And then press Command or Control C to copy it and then Command or Control F to paste it over the top. I'm going to rename this new layer and then drag it to the top of the stack. So now all we have to do is to hold down shift and click the top two layers and then in the transparency menu, make a mask. And bingo, we have that grain effect guys, but there is of course a lot more that we need to learn yet in today's video. Still in the transparency menu, we can adjust the blend mode and this will be dependent on your design style. Also, I sometimes like to copy this layer with command or control C and then duplicate it with command or control F, which will enhance the overall effect because now we have two copies of that effect. So that's all well and good, but what about the complex gradient and the color blur grain effect? Let's go ahead and make that neat looking sphere you saw at the start of the video. So make a perfect circle with the ellipse tool by clicking and dragging while holding down shift. So if you have Illustrator CC, you can apply a freeform gradient to this object, but if you don't, you need to apply a gradient mesh, which can be found in the toolbar. I'm going to fast forward after choosing my colors so that this tutorial doesn't drag on too long. So this time, copy and duplicate the circle with the same keyboard shortcuts as earlier, and then on the top layer, apply a radial gradient of black and white. Again, with that white node being 0% opacity. Now I do love using the G command in Illustrator CC, because it's just so intuitive. But you want your radial gradient to look something similar to this. 
So to this layer, we're going to apply that same grain effect as we did before. And remember to have that stippled option selected. I will then duplicate the base layer and drag it to the top. So we have in order color circle, grain, and then color circle, kind of like a sandwich. And this is why I like to label my layers because for this second design, I forgot to label them and things are already getting confusing in this layers panel. Anyway, shift select the top two layers and then make that mask once more. And now it's just a case of playing with the blend mode. And also you can press G on the gradient to adjust your grain effect on your design. I do think this color blur grain effect looks really, really awesome. And you can apply it to just about anything in Adobe Illustrator. On my final design, I duplicated the bottom sphere layer, and then I added a Gaussian blur effect from the effects top drop down menu. Now, if you want to see more Illustrator content on this channel, do let me know with a comment down below. And if you want to learn something else about graphic design, do click a video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.